buying a home can be a scary process, and for some first-time home buyers, it's getting even harder with these high interest rates. Well, the Department of Real Estate is out with a podcast to help people looking to buy. Rick Lopes is with the agency. He's joining us now. Thank you for joining us. You know, we hear about a lot of programs out there that are for first-time home buyers, but people who bought before, they may not realize it, but they may actually be classified as a first-time home buyer again. How is that? Yeah, it's one of the weird things. You, you think, first-time home buyer, I can only be that once in my life. Well, it's not the case. If you haven't actually owned a home in three years and you go back to buy a home, you're considered a first time home buyer. And that opens you up to a lot of programs that are available. So, with that definition, I mean, how can people take advantage of being that first time home buyer? I mean, for somebody who maybe has had experience, but it's been 15 to 20 years, or somebody like me who hasn't done it before, are we all kind of on the same level? Yeah, the, the big challenge, especially, is when you think of things like down payments. And the great advantage of being a first time home buyer is there are a lot of programs out there that can not only help you with the down payment assistance, they can also help with the mortgage assistance. So, you can get some money and have ways to pay it down so you're not going to have to put down the traditional 20 percent that normally people think of as a down payment for a home. In some cases you can pay a zero, as low as zero percent uh, to, to get into a home. Well and these the, the dollar doesn't go very far or as far with these high interest rates. Uh, you know people have a lot of questions. They want to know what can I afford? Should I buy a condo? Should I buy a townhouse? Uh, a standalone house? Do I qualify for a loan or how much money should I put down? So you have come up with a podcast cast which I wish was around when I was looking <laughs> to buy a home Me for the too. first time because it's really complicated. So what does this podcast do and how does it help people? Well, first of all, the reason we even started the podcast is we found that the majority of complaints that we get at the Department of Real Estate come from first time home buyers. They haven't been through the process before. They don't know all the players. They don't know all the things that they would need to know to, to be successful in purchasing the home. So that that's where we began our journey. And then we found that, you know, let's try to make this educational. Let's let's start with even 101 type of stuff. You know, what is a mortgage? What are the parts of a mortgage? What is a bank looking for when they're actually checking your credit? Um, and, and one of the things we talked about, when, how much can I afford? We want people to think about how much are you comfortable? What's your comfortability level? Because the banks aren't going to know your, your expenses. They're going to know your credit card and some of your main ones. They don't know if you like to take vacations, if you've got a couple of kids, maybe you go to private school, you like to take a, you know, a vacation every few months. They're not going to know that. So you're not going to necessarily want to choose the house or the amount of your loan by what you can afford, but what you're comfortable with. And a condo, like you mentioned, a condo or townhouse is a great way for a first time home buyer because it helps ease you into home ownership. It can be daunting when you think about things like property taxes, all the costs for repairs. When you go in as a condo or town home, you've got a homeowners association that's involved and maybe that's going to help take care of some of these things for you. So you're not jumping into the deep end with both feet. You can, you can kind of get used to it. And chances are, if you think about it, the first First home, you know, the first home you live in, you all thought that's my forever home. Mm -hmm. Chances are it's going to be two years or so that you're going to live in that first home. So think about that going in. It doesn't have to be have absolutely everything, and you may not be able because of interest rates and the like that you can yeah. afford everything that you want. But you just want to get in. You want to start building that equity, and you want to take steps. So I feel like I should have a notepad out right now, like taking notes on this. But for people who are maybe listening, where can they get their podcast or your podcast? How can they listen? The great thing about it is, first of all, it's called First Home California. It's on all the main platforms, Apple, Spotify, iHeart, anywhere you can. Or if you can't find it somewhere, go to our Department of Real Estate website. We've got a page there, dre.ca.gov forward slash First Home California. We've got them all on there as well. Uh, it shouldn't be a, a problem to be able yeah. to find it, and it's great information, and we're, we're enjoying putting this together, and hopefully it's going to make yeah. a difference. Yeah. Great to have one-stop shopping, exactly. and hopefully all the answers are there for you. Because it's overwhelming, and you don't really know where to get it all, so to yeah. have it one place that, you know, you just maybe listen to in bits and pieces. You're only a couple episodes good. in, but how many do you have planned? You know, we're going to, we got about at least 15 on the on yeah. the boards right now. We're taking every part of the home buying process, and each wow. one gets its own episode. The cool. first one, which is already out, is, you know, how to figure out how much you can afford. Another episode drops tomorrow, and it's everything you want to know about a mortgage, how a mortgage works. Then we'll hit down payments. We'll get into some of the, the first time home buyer um, programs that are out there. So we have a lot of things. There's no, there's no uh, limit on the, yeah. the amount of information uh, we can put out. Thank there. you for doing wait. this. Yeah. I can't wait to listen. All right. Rick Lopes, thanks for joining us. Great. Appreciate it's good to be it. with you.